Um, hey, what's up, guys? So, I may have to be like um, competing with the audio, ambience audio. I really wish they will come out with an update that's like um, help you to like lower the ambient audio a little bit. But like, this game has a lot of potential, and today I'm gonna show you something special that I built off screen with a certain car you know let's just walk this way for a little bit inside the garage it's a nice day you know? there's some tires right here gas Look at my truck that I bought. Nothing from suspicious out here, you know. No, what do we have over here? Um, could this be? What I think it is. I try to build it as best as possible to the closest image but I guess this is as far as I can get I'm gonna have to like work on the design on it a little time but we can't just we can't go and not show you how it is there's something I'm worried about it has to do the in interior of the car is not downloaded and I don't know what so if anybody can help me out with that that would be really good to know how the interior of it how can I get the interior to download fully so it can be displayed but let's take this for a spin on the highway and show you what it's all about
all right so obviously we have a lot of things we need to talk about first off um like for these uh the supermarket and like the deli stores like well the supermarket and the restaurants i think they should uh, do further development on them and like uh make it that people can actually use these i don't know if it's you can use it in the online series but like like if you go online you can use these actually but like it would be very useful if it, it, it you could use it because like you will add you know like uh a little bit more currency to the game give her food and everything i think when i genuinely say this could be a pc game i mean it's with I mean it, it it's like genuinely could be a PC game. It's like that high up. Can't interact with that. So you know the stuff like that, but the, No, but like Besides that, I love how this car has turned out. Now all the stuff is to put the livery on it and to like upgrade the car to to do some racing because like this has not touched any upgrades as yet. I'm not don't think I'm gonna buy a different engine because like it comes with the do J Z engine. What I would buy is probably the triple turbo and other adjustments so that this car can go, you know, quickly. So in order to do that, we we do need cash. So, in order to get cash, we need to go back to the main menu, and that's where we're gonna be going. Um. There is a few things I want to talk about, like, um, when I talk about the manual transmission, what, what was, what, what is the main reason why I didn't like it, and I find it the same way for another game that I'm playing off screen, which is like, um, driving school, uh, the latest one. And the thing that I don't like is that um, for the shifter, I can't change the position of the shifter, and that is what I just don't like because like I have to like reach up so far with my thumb to go for fifth gear and sixth gear, and it's like you see you see like I shift my uh, steering when I go for fifth or, sh or six because like I have to like put my finger up there and then like shift the screen. I, because I'm using uh, tilt to steer it, like shift it a little bit, so that makes it a little bit difficult. And because like it doesn't select, like automatic, like like when you're going for a certain gear, it doesn't select for you. Like if you carry it up to four, it doesn't really select unless you put it directly on it. It's like a little bit difficult, but like I'm getting used to it. I'm getting to understanding it, but like if you drive like that and you drive tilt, it definitely like at a disadvantage against a person that is like not using auto manual or are not using this type of manual like just using the shift up shift down manual you will definitely at a disadvantage because like it takes a little bit more time to shift gears and you can't shift gears like super fast um when you're using to to drive like so those are a few things that are like uh, at a disadvantage for me, but like I'm okay with it. I, I'm okay with it. it. It is what it is. Um, mostly, I won't be going too competitive, like racing against people, and I won't be in the fourth gear, fifth gear, unless like I'm like going straight on the highway. So that is what it is. So that's this. We're ten minutes into the video. I hope you guys enjoy that super part, and now. Um, we're gonna do this challenge.
can I get it? How is this like back to like? Oh, so I guess it's probably for the cars. So like, certain cars will use certain type of gear. Oh, they do not be This is weird. I think that's like um uh deliberate setup, like it's deliberately set up for that kind of drive and angle which is inside the car, deliberately set up for that kind of uh, transmission and deliberately set up and there's a thing that I, um, I don't like about it and I'm tell you um, in the game called uh, driving school there is a button that you can use to like activate your, your mirror that is like your furthest mirror away from you like put it like close to the screen on the top right that way you can see both mirrors at the same time and like um in real life reversing you're gonna need to like uh be able to like watch both mirrors and like line it up properly i get that yes you have a, in a back camera in the dash but that that's not possible for most cars and I like the old way of backing up as well, more than likely. So it's like that's a feature they can add in the future. Like to have like an option so you can get, you can press the button and you can get the camera on the, the camera that's not on the driver's side, so you can like be able to look at both cameras without having to turn the angle of the camera in game because like that's a lot of work but like it is good i only got through that pretty much because like i am pretty used to like driving universe so that's good I need to move back. That's their their line. I moved back and like move back, <laughs> and I was behind the line. And, um, that's a lie. Oh, this is going to be. I have to parallel park it, and I'm thinking they're gonna be.
didn't, they didn't even give me time to learn it properly. And that is so bad on my part when I'm trying to learn it properly. But it is what it is. Alright, so we have like a garbage truck here. I got um, a truck, back of a truck, parking bin, back of a truck, and. The same. Oh, this is. Oh my, this is gonna be crazy. I crashed there. I'll talk about it after. I guess I was like too focused on what I was planning to see. Like the reason why I crashed the first time um, in the truck is because like I realized that I'm, <laughs> in order to make that parking, I have to like go in reverse like all the way down. So <sighs> and I crashed this time because I was trying to quickly finish this so I can talk about that. But like now that we have it off our chest, um, we should be able to do this. <laughs> But I won't let this is one of the difficult ones. is very difficult <laughs>
by so much as breeze that gas. That was very difficult. That was very, very difficult. The place is a little old. It's like very difficult parking. No, we're gonna have a ridiculously easy parking. Not quite. I stand corrected. So we have to come in here first. Straight up. No, we can change it. Let's not notice that that's there. What's this camera for? You see, this is like difficult. I want to use that camera, but I can't. Come on, like, um, give me the option to use the camera on the far side because, like, it's very difficult to, to, to use reverse on using the camera that's on your that's on your, that, that's on your driver's side. It's very difficult. Like, you need more than one camera. Um, mirrors, like, what do you expect? Is it like Grand Theft Auto of San Andreas?
If anybody plays um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, you know what I'm talking about. That road up there reminds me of the road that's on San Andreas, the left side of the map, top left side of the map. There's a special road that is exactly like that. Shout out to the ones that know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the left, top left side of the map in San Andreas. In Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And you'll see what I'm talking about. This one is pretty cool. There's a fire gas truck. Let's drive on it. I thought it was going to be sunshine and rainbows with a fire in the mouth. I need to take that one away. You know I am laughing. You know exactly what I'm <laughs> That corner was clean. <laughs> oh my, that corner was so clean. That, that corner was max efficiency. <laughs> it could not have gotten any more cleaner than that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna park it now. That didn't happen, that didn't happen.
it could have not been any more straight, bro. Um, the thing that I'm really enjoying about this, like, if this these people make a truck game, I will definitely play it and definitely enjoy it. <laughs> um, there was this car that I take on the mission before, that w the one that w went up hill. I was like, normally, uh, I would like clear that corner, but like. I like underestimated it. It's because like um most time in truck games I drive uh in first person perspective. So um <laughs> when I go around the corner I'm like oh my god I need to go way wider than normal <laughs> because the corner that it went goes into is like so small. <laughs> but it's fun. I am enjoying myself. I love this game. <laughs> Actually, I love this game. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn. Uh, this truck again. Oh! Condone anything that I've done in this um, particular mission, and I implore you guys if you drive in the real world, do not do that. But as long as it's in the game, do it. you can do it. Um, I'm not particularly just following the rules of the roads and like that. I'm just speeding through it, enjoying it, having fun. And uh, we kind of went a little bit too over it. I love the physics of the boxes in the back of the car <laughs> they they are all over the place the physics in this game is really nice I, I really appreciate it so i think we're we're definitely going to go through this do we have to keep the container 